Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. So tonight we're going to be continuing working with subver subversion a little bit. Over in my left hand corner here, I have a subversion versioning navigator here. And you can see that I have um, my HR ba uh, base. Uh, and basically, what I want to do is I want to work with a subset, or well, a copy of the um, HR base application so um, what I'm going to do and I've already done this but I've created the VO where clause and basically by just clicking on that and then doing a new I'll do I'll do it here too so we're going to do view criteria and um, I'll do named okay so this is the trunk where the view criteria named app. Now this is going to do a video that I'm going to do later. So basically, this I want to I move, want to move this version of the HR app, which is just the base version. It's got the very basic model and the very basic view control view controller into um, this one and also this one. So let's uh, do that. I'm going to click on the trunk and go to versioning and then branch tag. Now, since I clicked on the trunk, you can see that it's taking this value. If I click somewhere else, it'll take that value too. And you want to be very careful that you start off in the right place because you don't want to just get a subset of your app. So branch tag, uh, look at it, make sure you're at the right place, trunk. And then also this is going to the same exact location, which obviously we don't want to do. So we're going to go to the VO where clause. There's nothing in there. And uh, I don't need to do a comment. This is just for mucking around sake, but normally you would. And there it goes. And it auto automatically put the trunk in there. So you can see that, that, that that's in there. Now, um, we can do a, a checkout of that. OK, and I want to make sure that I'm in the right location. So I am going to go <clears throat> and uh, which one? This is the where clause. So we're just going to go there. And we'll get, we won't use a revision, and we'll get everything. And you can see now that we have our application. We've got everything in here. Taking a minute for a J developer to wake up. App module. You can still see that it's got the same revision number. But uh, we've got all the pieces that we had before. View controller. And it's got the name. So it pretty much looks the way it is. One of the things that I did not go over, which I really needed to, um, is what to do when you add a file. Um, and so let's go down here. And we're going to go to the Java classes and add an application module impl. And this creates a Java file in the directory structure. And you can see now that we're in the here. And um, if we go over here to our pending changes, don't see anything here. Candidates, um, there it goes. Took a little bit of a refresh. Probably um, might do that automatically after a while, but um, you do want to make sure that you get this. Now, you click on it, and then you press plus. And that disappears, but now you can see that it's outgoing. And it's got this little plus here, and you can see that this little plus here is here, too. So then once you do that, you highlight it here, and then you press commit, and app impl Okay, so now, next time you do a check out of this, this file will come along. And uh, that is one of the dangerous things about this. You really have to keep your head together and make sure that when you create a file, you actually import it um, in the candidate section and then again 
uh, this is kind of a no-brainer, but import it here so that it goes into the Subversion directory. And in fact, now if we go to our ADF model, we can see that it's there and number 41 and number 41. So that that's how you do that. So we went over two things today. One first was was to take a copy of the trunk for the HR and then copy it into here. Sorry, copy it into here. And I can do that again because I want to move it up to my this section here. This one's empty, so let's put that there. And we're going to do branch tag. We've got the trunk, which is what we want. And we're going to go to the branch here. And I believe this one is the one that's empty. And there it goes. So we've got that now. Um, but just beware that this does not have the application module. Uh, it's got the X XML file, but it doesn't have that Java class that we created because that is on this trunk, not the other trunk. So that's what you need to be aware of when you're manipulating this stuff. But that's okay because the HR base is just a very simple application with nothing much on it. But that's what we use to, uh, that's what I've been using to create very simple examples. So I hope that's helpful to you and have a good evening.